setting up your FT710 transmit audio for the first time. Okay, first of all, you'll need to turn it on. Push the function button, lock button, not function button, which is also the power on button. Hold it down for a moment, let the radio come on. Next, you'll need to function the function button. This is a, a thingamajiggy, and it's also a function button. You press it, and it brings up the functions, or you can use a mouse. I'm going to use a mouse because my big finger gets in the way. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to go to the function of operation settings. And I'm going to click that on, or I can stab it with my fingers. Got to stab it up here, right there. Easier with a wire and mouse. We're going to go to transmit audio. Transmit audio. And this is, I'm going to go, I'm going to move this all the way up to start in the beginning. No, I'm not. Hold that down and, okay. The first thing I'm going to adjust differently is the fast. Now we're going to leave that fast. If it's not at fast, it'll... Anyway, we're going to move this to fast. It's probably set to mid. We're going to move it to fast. Move it to fast. There we are. The next thing I want to set is the parametric EQ1 setting. We want to set that to 300. Uh, I think it comes as off. You want to set that to 300. If you don't set it at 300, yeah, it's not going to sound good. Um, level. Level. Uh, I'm going to set that to minus 8. I'm going to set the 300 to minus 8. And the parametric bandwidth, what that is abbreviated to, I'm going to leave that at 10. Nope. I want that at 8. So we're going to, come on, get over there. I want that at 8. Next is the um, parametric EQ2. I want that 1100. So we got it at 1100. You can go higher, you can go lower, but 1100 is good. Next is the parametric level, and that's set at 9. And 9, 10. Give it, give it the beans. The higher, the more output at that frequency it's going to be. I got my set at 9. You can set yours at 8, 9, 10. Bandwidth, again, this is set at 2. Now, the lower the number, the wider the bandwidth. And the higher the number, the narrower the bandwidth. And that's, anyway, in the mid-range, you want to get it kind of wide to start with, anyway. Next is parametric EQ3 which I've set for 2400. You can, you know, you don't have to be at 2400. You can 22, 21. It's all good. I got the, I got the level set for maximum beans at 10. And I've got the bandwidth set for maximum bandwidth at zero. Now we can keep going up. This is, this is, processor parametric eq1 this is when you got your processor on which by the way i like to run all the time and there's a reason for that um, the radio will do in my opinion it will do it couldn't it could do things to your transmit and make it sound weak um, without it on so anyway these are pretty much set at the same settings that I just showed you up here on the parametric EQ. This is processor EQ, this is without processor up here. So they're set at three, same thing, they're set at 300 minus eight. I got the bandwidth set at two. 
That's the, anything in yellow is where the factory had it set. Notice most of the stuff is not in yellow. And if you just, when you get your radio and it's brand new, all of these things will be in yellow. And it won't matter. It won't sound very good, even if you turn the EQ on, which I'll show you that in a minute. So anyway, we're, um, we're at 1100, we're at 10, we're at 1, we're at 2400, we're at 10, we're at 1. So that's pretty good. That finishes that up. Uh, it's, um, don't worry about TQ, TX General. Let's go back. Go back. And let's stay right here. We got the thing. That you want to turn your EQ on. You can run it on off and it's going to sound mushy with the hand mic. Depends on what kind of mic you got on there, but the hand mic's not going to sound very good. So I just leave, oh no, I didn't leave that on. Mic gain. If you're using a hand mic, you got to have that mic gain all the way up. You click on the box. If it's not, I got mine set. I like to run mine between 50 and 60. So with the once your box is clicked in, you got to get to your function knob and you got to turn it. No, you got to click it again. Okay, see up here, it says mic gain. Watch when I turn this knob. Okay, now it's going up and down. It'll probably be pretty low when you get your radio out of the box. You're going to want to turn it up. The hand mic, the stock hand mic that it comes with, not got a lot of gain to it. So 55 works good, 60 depends upon your voice. Anyway, next thing you want to do is turn the processor on. Here it is right here. You click that box. Now look up here, it says proc level, proc level. And you start turning the knob and it's going to be off when you take it out of the box it's going to be off so you need to turn even though you yeah so it's going to be off so now you turn it up you can run this i like to run it between 50 and 60 again why because those are easy numbers and they work the best for my voice and i don't have a lot of uh room acoustics going on so the room is, that you're that i'm in right now is pretty quiet um if you turn that up a lot you just gonna pick up more room acoustics turn it down you get rid of that and fan noise and things like that anyway that's pretty much how you turn on your uh you set up your uh, transmit audio and once again we'll look at the the functions and you know and you might want to turn your power up you can listen to yourself if you turn the monitor on but these three settings oh an amc level that stands for edge automatic mic control set that for 100 you see the things up here in the boxes at amc now and it just you can turn it down um it gets <clears throat> kind of a weak sound to it. It's got a better sound here. It's not distorted. You can turn it all the way up and it basically won't distort. So uh, that's where we're at. We've got um, my gain set at 55. EQ is on. Again, if you don't have the EQ on, it's going to sound muffled. It's going to be hard for people to comprehend you. Um, so anyway, turn the EQ on and then turn your processor on and get to some level um, like 50 to 60. Make sure the AMC is at 100%. Uh, you can turn on your Vox gain wherever it likes. So there's also Vox delay. I got mine set at 52 and my vox delay is at 600 milliseconds and i got no anti-vox because i use headphones and i don't have to worry about uh 
somebody keying up my radio when they're coming through my speaker. So that's uh, that's the story here. Hope this helps with your uh, basic first time mic microphone transmit audio equalizer settings. Bye for now.